Let's translate verbal expressions into mathematical expressions. So what do words mean? So we think about four different mathematical operations. And if we don't know words that tell us what those mean, how do we know what to use? So add, if you see the word sum or increase or more than, those are some of the words that will tell you, hey, we need to add. For subtracting, we talk about difference. The difference between two numbers means to subtract. Decrease, you know, decreases by five or less than. Those all tell you to subtract. Multiplying, we talk about the product of two numbers. This times that. Or sometimes you might hear twice something or three times something, but twice tells you to multiply by two. And then we get to division. Quotient is the big one. Or they might just use the word divide or spread evenly, right? If you're spreading something evenly out, you are dividing amongst who's there. Okay, so let's use those and let's go from there. Oh, wait, one more thing I wanna talk about. The word quantity. If they tell you a quantity, that means we are putting things in parentheses. All right, knowing that, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna find, uh, we're gonna write the following as mathematical expressions. Okay, the sum of eight and four, so the sum of eight and four, oh, let's back up. Let's read the whole thing first. I get excited. The sum of eight and four times a number. Okay, so and is kind of the splitting, right? So we have eight and four times a number. So four times a number. Sum tells us to add. So the sum of eight and four times a number. Okay, let's learn our lesson and let's read the whole thing. The quotient of a number and the difference of the number and six. Okay, so we have the quotient of a number, so we'll say the number is x, and. So this tells me the quotient of a number and the difference of a number, the number and six. So the difference of a number in six is x minus six. So the and part is where we see, this is where the quotient comes in. Up here, that's where the plus sign came in. So that tells you kind of your two pieces that you're dealing with. Seven less than two times a number. Okay, now this is where people get a little bit confused. Less than tells us that we need to subtract. But if I would say, seven less than 10. Let's just do this, seven less than 10. Well, when you think about that, seven less than 10 is three because 10 minus seven is three, right? Three is seven less than 10. So when you see seven less than, that means we're taking minus seven. So seven less than two times a number. So two times a number is like two X. So seven less than two X. So we're gonna take two X minus seven. Seven less than two times a number. And the last one, the product of six and the sum of a number added to two. Okay, so we're, product means we're multiplying two things together. So we're taking this times this. So the product of six and the sum of a number added to two. So because I'm multiplying six times this piece, I should put my second piece in parentheses. So this would be the same as six parentheses x plus two. And that is playing with mathematical expressions.